Hey, what were you doing over here? How you doing? Long time no see. I'm back for a video that I haven't done in a while. Welcome to Life with Belsa. I'm your host with Belsa. As you know, I've been gone for a minute, probably over a month actually. And last video seen was me excavating the pond. Well, now in this video, as you've seen already, the pond is done, pretty much. I'm quite happy with it, turned out really good. And we're gonna go through this video and talk about it. So if you wanna hear about it, stick around. If you wanna hear about it, then do what you normally do, just go to the next video. As you know, I dug this out with a backhoe. I put the liner in, I filled the liner. I overlapped the liner two feet all the way around this rock. And then I just started filling rock in. I've got nice big steps for plants. I got a frog already hanging out. Oh, it was, he's gone now, I scared him. All my fish are moved from the front pond to the back pond and I got more. I had hatches of eggs. I drilled some pots out, put a couple of peas in and got it so it kind of pours out. And as you see, I a fish over there pissing. Got my rain barrel over here, which is overflowed into the pond. Right there. So when the rain barrel gets full, it just runs into the pond instead of into my foundation. And then I get a valve for a hose on it. Over here, I got my biofilter I built, which you see. If you start building, it's working good. It's bioing. Put clean water back in the pond. All three lines go in in the waterfall. Gonna maybe change up the waterfall next year, but this year it's good. I got her pretty good for right now. I'm gonna put a bog pond up higher and have a stream coming down from the house into the pond. So that's gonna be something. I still got my bog pond out front and I actually, I just moved a whole bunch of koi eggs to the front pond. I had a spawn today. So basically how I did this was, I built this deck here where you can walk out on it. Walk out on it and have a look at the pond. You can see what the fish are doing. As you can see. Oh shit, I forgot this case ain't waterproof, Jim. Sorry about that. Totally forgot about that. Just so you know, if you have a GoPro with a media mod case, don't stick it underwater. Hopefully you can still hear me. Check, check, one, two. Under my porch deck here, if you lift this up, like so, I have a toke in here, which also lifts out. And in here is where I keep my UV filter, my plugs, which is wet because I just dumped water in there, and my valves that go to underground over to the filter. I got an extra one in case I want to add more horsepower. I can put more pressure into that filter, but I'm pretty much right on the money right now. It's not overflowing, so it's working good. So that's where I keep my UV filter. I know that a lot of people have different ideas for ponds and stuff. You see me now? I know a lot of people have different ideas for ponds and stuff, but I built about seven ponds over the years I've been alive, and they've all turned out pretty good, so I just keep doing the way I'm doing it. The biggest thing about a pond, if you want a natural pond, you're going to have green in it. Yes, you can buy dyes and stuff to get rid of all the green, but I like a natural pond. Plants make it really natural. They're actual natural filtration system. So this pond's pretty self-efficient. So there you go. So I got that done. I did some work on the gazebo. I stained it, got some curtains for it and stuff like that. So that's okay. So anyways, up front is where um, the little pond is that you know about that I built. And it's just kind of, I turned the pump off of it. It's got no bio filter. It's got nothing. It's just running some air bubblers and plants because it's got a whole bunch of koi eggs in it from today. And you don't want a pump running. And you don't want fish in here because they'll eat the eggs. But let me see if I can find where the eggs went. It's on one of the plants here. Nope. I don't like to disturb them too much. But I'll disturb them for you guys. Because there's some eggs right there, see? Look at them all on there. I don't know if you can see them or not. That's full of eggs. There's another one here that's just right pumped with them somewhere. 
that one. Look at the eggs on that. Oh yeah. We should get quite a few new koi out of that batch because there's nothing in this pond to eat them except for one little baby fish they can't catch, but I'm working on it. But other than that, it's come, up, come along up far for the short amount of time. I'm already raising koi to sell next year. I got plants that I can actually start to sell probably soon because they're starting to multiply pretty good. I have my own little oasis, which is worth a million dollars as far as I'm concerned, if you know what I mean. As you know, I did get rid of the trailer because the trailer, yeah, I got rid of the trailer. I wasn't gonna use it. I got what I paid for it back in 2016. So that's pretty good. I did get another pedal bike. Well, it's a pedal assist, but it's not a pedal assist like you guys think. It's, it doesn't have a throttle. You actually have to pedal for it to work. And it has to feel a certain amount of load. It's a gas gas. They build dirt bikes and they started building these these bikes. And it's a carbon bike and it's really nice actually. It's a great little bike. It's got a Yamaha electric motor on it, the batteries in there, shocks and gas gas light trail 2.0. If you want me to get more into that bike and details on it, let me know in the comments below. But so far, I've loved it. So far it's been awesome. You're gonna have a GoPro video soon of that because I'm gonna put the GoPro on the handlebars and take you guys for a rip on the bike one night. Probably maybe Thursday night. I haven't drove my truck at all this year. It's been sitting here doing nothing. I kinda lost interest in this truck. I'm thinking about actually ask 25 grand for it soon. I don't know what to do with it. Kinda bought it as an investment. I'm having a hard time selling it but I'm not using it. Leave me some comments down below and let me know what you think. Because I'm always curious what you guys think. Even though I've really sucked lately, I apologize. A lot of you, some of you have been asking me where I've been, but you know, I had a lot going on this year. Like personal stuff, home, you know, daughter, some health issues, but they're all past and good now, hopefully. A little bit of uh, downness, if you know what I mean. Little, you know, what everybody else gets in life. Depression once in a while. I'm 51 now, Frig. I'm over the hill almost. I'm not as energetic as I used to be. But just remember, never give up giving up. Never give up not giving up. Never, you know what I mean, friggin' right you do. But, yeah, keep positive, keep cranking, and one day you'll get through it. That's what I want to say. Friggin' right. I do love you all. I'm still around, just not as often. But I will, when I do and can, and feel like it, I'll throw a video up. So if you want to keep seeing these odd videos here and there, leave me a comment below. Show me some love, man. You know, like, it's a lot of work, YouTube, when you know you're not making it, if you know what I mean. Like, you either hit with the ground running on YouTube or you hardly move on YouTube. And I'm at the stage where I hardly move. So that's why I step back a little bit because I don't want to... I involved myself in YouTube a long time, a lot of time. And a lot of that time was taken away from my daughter. So that's why I've stepped back a little bit now. And I hope you understand that. But if the channel was thriving and making me a lot of money, I wouldn't step back. But since it's not really doing a whole lot, I'm going to step back. So I hope everybody's having a good day like me. I'm having a wonderful day. I feel great. Things are going well. I love you all, and I'll see you on the next one.